These guys right here are what they call fixed ring cambium tables. Okay? You got your rings fixed in one spot, they don't move. You'll notice these are varying lengths. Well, why is that? Because limbs are varying size diameters, right. So this guy would be perfect for certain limbs, but once you get too big, you're going to have to step up to a bigger guy, right? Well, the way these work, first of all, they, they call them cambium savers. Do you know why they call them cambium savers? Rope saws in the wood. Right. If I had my rope just going over that limb and I was climbing on it, eventually it's going to start cutting into that, that trunk, right? Cutting through the bark. What's directly beneath the bark? The cambium layer is directly beneath the bark. The cambium layer is one of the three areas of active cell division in the tree, right? If you start cutting into that, what are you doing to that tree? Oh, just like gaffing it, giving it a wound. Exactly. Okay. They call this a cambium saver because if you have this draped over a limb, and then run your climbing line through it, okay. How much of this rope is now rubbing on the limb? None whatsoever. You're protecting the cambium layer of the tree by using this guy. But what have I done for the friction on my rope? Decreased it substantially. Decreased it substantially, absolutely. What does that do for protecting my line? Increase the life of your rope substantially. All this gear costs money, right? If I can protect this gear and make it last longer, <laughs> It's going to make your your boss or your wife much happier if you're paying for it yourself. Okay, that's something absolutely to bear in mind. If I was over the limb, that's quite a large bend ratio. Okay, it's going to make the rope somewhat stronger because it's a, big, a bigger bend ratio. This is obviously a much tighter bend ratio, but it's actually an acceptable bend ratio. Now, working off of one ring is starting to get a little sketchy, uh, and there are ways to fix that. But this is actually an acceptable bend ratio for the rope. Okay? So they call these cambium savers because they protect the cambium. <laughs> but in reality, you're going to be using this more often because it reduces the friction on your line and allows for much easier climbing for you. So call it cambium saver all you want. In reality, it's a friction saver. Okay? And you have options on friction savers. But these two guys have fixed length. They can't be adjusted, so they're only going to be good for so long. And you don't have to use flat webbing. So a lot of times, using a 16 strand or a rope cambium saver is a better option because it's, it's designed more to come out. It'll come out a lot easier. Okay? The green ones work much better than the orange ones. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Again, you have 10 million options. It's really whatever you want to use. Uh, some of these have steel rings on them. Some of them have aluminum rings on them. Some of them have pretty thick diameter. Some of them have pretty thin diameter. Okay? They're all going to be used in different situations depending on what you want to do. You'll see some of them are actually adjustable. This guy here really is a four and a half foot fixed ring cambium saver, but by hooking on a smaller cambium saver, you see I now made this one adjustable. So instead of having six different length cambium savers, I can actually have one that will do everything, which is kind of nice.